Today, an approval in lung cancer, results from a phase two study in bladder cancer, and new treatment advancements in multiple myeloma. All this and more starts right now on Unc Live News Network. Hello and welcome, I'm Laura Jones. The FDA approved Jafitinib marketed as Aressa for first-line use in patients with non-small cell lung cancer whose tumors harbor specific types of EGFR mutations. The FDA noted that the drug is intended for patients whose tumor express exon 19 deletions or exon 21 L858R substitution gene mutations, the most common types of EGFR mutations in non-small cell lung cancer. The agency's decision was based on data from a multi-centered single-arm clinical trial in 106 previously untreated patients with EGFR mutation-positive metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. The study showed an overall response rate of about 50 percent. The Therascreen EGFR RGQ PCR kit was approved along with the targeted therapy as a companion diagnostic test to identify patients with tumors having the EGFR gene mutations. The FDA initially granted an accelerated approval of Jafitinib in 2003 for patients with advanced disease following failure on both platinum-based chemotherapy and docetaxel. However, the drug was voluntarily withdrawn from the market after confirmatory trials failed to validate the clinical benefit in that population. Genentech announced that a pivotal phase two study with atezolizumab met its primary endpoint by effectively shrinking tumors in patients with locally advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma who had progressed on the initial treatment. The company reported that the high levels of PDL1 expression coincided with increased responses and that adverse events were consistent with previous data. Full data from the study called MVIGOR210 have not yet been released. In a prior phase one study of patients with heavily pretreated bladder cancer, atezolizumab demonstrated an overall response rate of 50% in patients with the highest level of PDL1 expression. The drug was granted a breakthrough therapy designation in 2014 for treatment in patients whose metastatic bladder cancer expressed PDL1. Takeda has submitted a new drug application for its oroproteasome inhibitor, Exazomib, in combination with linalinamide and dexamethasone as a treatment for patients with relapsed and or refractory multiple myeloma. The application was based on findings from the Phase three. Toramaline Align MM1 trial, which demonstrated an improvement in progression-free survival with the triplet compared with linalinamide and dexamethasone alone. Exazomib is the first oral proteasome inhibitor to demonstrate efficacy in a phase three trial. Dr. Paul Richardson, the clinical program leader and director of clinical research at the Dana-Farber Institute's Jerome Lipper Multiple Myeloma Center said in a statement, Proteasome inhibition has become an essential component of treatment, but there are logistical challenges for patients with both intravenous and subcutaneous approaches, and especially in the absence of an effective oral option. Outside of an announcement that the study had met its primary endpoint, Takeda has not yet made data from the MM1 trial available. Secondary endpoints include overall survival and objective response rate. OncLive recently spoke with Dr. David Siegel of the John Thur Cancer Center about his treatment approach in multiple myeloma, especially given recent advancements. I would like to treat my patients in a way that is the least toxic possible, but leaves their disease the most sensitive that it can be because one day down the line, and I think fairly soon, we're going to be able to, to sit with a patient and say, I may not cure you now, but the, the drugs that are becoming available are going to be so effective that I may have the opportunity to cure you in the future. So I don't want to, I don't want to do anything to your disease that is going to dramatically decrease the sensitivity to, to therapies in the future. Visit our website to hear more of our interview with Dr. Siegel. And that'll do it for today. Thanks so much for watching Unc Live News Network. I'm Laura Jones. We'll see you next time.